Yes, LOL, coming at you with the July 28th slate. Uh, but before we jump into the new slate, let's check out how our, our picks did yesterday. Uh, we went with a, a total of three hitters. Uh, out of the hitters, we were able to get Manny Machado get a four times value. Uh, we had Jason Hayward with a 2.3 value at seven. Uh, we had a few uh, lower points options, but either all, all did uh, hadn't done too well. The Baltimore game blew up on us. We didn't get the, the points we were expecting in the stack. Uh, same goes with the New York. Uh, did really poor poorly, as uh, unfortunately for us. So, bad night overall. Last night, though, Bundy was our shine-out pick, get, putting up 21 points. He was pitching so well. Had a no-hitter going into the sixth, I believe, with seven strikeouts. Did very well. The uh, goof of the night was Tyler Duffy with a negative 12.4. So, of course, if you're taking Bundy, you're not going to be taking Duffy as well. So that's that's for certain. Udarvish started off poorly, but he picked it out, up throughout the night. And put up a, a reasonable night. And Tyler, or sorry, James Paxton put up a respectable 12 points. Uh, if you were looking at the likes on uh, on DFN, you would have seen Lance McCullers was the number one liked at 31.3 points, and he put up the biggest total of the night. So you would have been all over that guy. If I look uh, into into the batters as well. The top picks, uh, you had a 7, a 9, a 18, and a 23, and a 8. So they were the some of the number one, one picks people were looking at last night. Looking at stacks, the stack of the night was Atlanta. I had uh, two lineups with Atlanta. Unfortunately, if you just had Atlanta stack, it wasn't enough to get you through. You needed those extra guys putting you up getting you up money so you need an Atlanta uh, I would say Atlanta 4 Pittsburgh 4 or Atlanta 5 Pittsburgh 3 so a stack like that and also with some good pitchers to get you in the money let's push on to today see what we're looking at in terms of pitchers hitters so we have a lot of uh, hitters today uh, what I'm looking at mainly in terms of teams I got Boston with three uh, Henley Mar Ramina, Ramirez, David Ortiz, and Mookie Betts. I got Texas for two. Profire and uh, Gallo are my number one and number two. But keep in mind, Profire or Gallo may not play in this matchup. So make sure you check your lineups. And then I'm going back to Baltimore to see if they can uh, do anything against Gibson tonight. So I got two, uh, two for Baltimore. I got Stanton. He's hot right now. He uh, could put up some big numbers, so look for him. And I also have uh, Sano uh, as my one of my Minnesota picks. So I'm expecting uh, big numbers out of out of Baltimore, Minnesota, uh, especially since they didn't do nothing yesterday. So look to them. Uh, in terms of the weather, uh, not too many weather issues, but there is some slight chances at rain, so make sure to check your forecast. Totals, you have anywhere from 6.5 to 9.5. There is some excellent pitching out there, so make sure to uh, pick your pitching correctly. We have quite a few high-priced pitchers, including Sale, Johnny Cueto, Lackey. We have Fernandez. We also have Cole Hamels and David Price. So some of the top pitching pitching options available on the slate today. I am specifically looking towards Fernandez as a pretty much a must own at a 34% K rate, and I'm looking at Price 26K rate and Sale as a 30% rate. Tonight is a uh, cash game night because you can get a couple of good. Uh, starting pitchers that's going to put up the numbers and then just uh, fill in your lineups from there. Uh, if you are looking for value plays that I expect to have good numbers, I'm uh, looking at Baltimore. Baltimore is against Minnesota. 
the strikeout rate is there. However, Minnesota slated to put up uh, 4.72 in numbers. Same with Ventura. Strikeout rate is there, but they're slated at a five uh, run uh, total for the night. So you may be cautious with those picks. Stacks, of course, we're looking at some of the stacks. There are some big numbers, uh, but there are also some big price tags on the hitters. So keep that in mind when you're playing your picks. Personally, I, I'm thinking of running with some higher price pitchers and lower price batters uh, to fill my stacks. Stacks, of course, I like to search by the bullpen, who, if they blow up, is going to get into the bullpen and, and continue the action. So I'm looking at uh, KC and Washington, and then also Philly, Atlanta. So Philly might have a comeback game here. In terms of uh, expected run totals, they have Chicago Cubs as number one, even though they're up against a tough pitcher and a tough bullpen. So I don't like that. Boston, I do like. They're, they're probably the best stack on the board. Philly should be higher up, but for some reason they have the lowest run total on the board. And then also like Baltimore, and I like Minnesota as my other two. So that's for the picks for the day. As always, the, all the information provided to you is brought to you by Daily Fantasy Nerd. It's where I make all my lineups, so definitely check them out in the links in the comments below. As always, link co like, comment, and subscribe to the video. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow.